The Missile Security Operating Concept, or MSOC, is making significant changes for defenders at Mount Shamir Air Force Base. So there's two major things that MSOC is going to do for us. One is protected time off. Um, I've never seen an op staff and leadership so adamant about making sure these troops, when it is their off day, that they are not called in unless it is an absolute emergency. The second thing is leader-led training. Now our supervisors, our staff sergeants, our tech sergeants, and even our high-speed senior airmen, they are allowed to lead these trainings now when it comes to shoot, move, communicate, uh, recapture, recovery drills, and that's really going to help them out in the future as they progress through their Air Force career. A lot of airmen were really looking forward to MSOC and all the changes that were to come. When the MSOC first came around, we heard that there's going to be like more opportunity. Um, obviously, more certifications uh, going from RFL, which I was before, to SSTL, uh, which is more 741st based. So a lot of people have been looking forward to that, just to get more hands-on experience. But just because the first cycle is implemented right now, uh, they're seeing less of that like expanded job knowledge, and they're still doing their old practices beforehand. So until the next phase actually like is initiated, that's when they'll actually see the job change. These changes will be taking place over the next few weeks. Reporting from the 341st Missile Wing Public Affairs Office at Malmstrom Air Force Base, this is Airman First Class, Kiana Maxwell.